that's the northwestern next to us, but I'm not going to be fussed about that because um, get on them all the time. And no, I'm not catching an event here, before you ask. I'm getting the uh, northwestern on this side. Well, unfortunately, we might not get the shot of this one leaving. And it's my one I'm arriving. Is it packed? reminds me up about this Norwich service is that on the way they don't advertise it as pickup well as uh, on, on the way they actually do advertise it as pickup on real time trains they advertise it as stopping at Stratford for drop off only but on the station it says it's going to Liverpool Street and and I know this is gonna everyone's gonna ball because it doesn't say don't board Let's see. Let's see if anyone boards. Because I can guarantee that someone is going to board this train. Because it says on the board that it's stopping here for pickup as well. To be honest, I don't even understand the logic. Of, I don't understand the logic of pickup and drop off early. Because to me, my personal opinion, I think it's just a butt of crap. Because what's the point? Because, now I didn't get the Norwich one, even though that was going first, and it was stopping here, but I just didn't want to charge it, you know? But, what I don't understand is, what is the point of it? Because, what is the point of stopping for drop friendly? You might as well just let them get on, literally. Now, Avanti, you can't chance, because they are so strict, but... That's a vanity. I ain't, I ain't chanting it. That's why I wait for the Northwestern, but earlier, but it didn't really take long to arrive, but still. But hopefully, hopefully one day I can get an Avanti from Watford, but it might be a long time because I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna risk it with Avanti. But eventually, you know, with this drop off only nonsense and pick up only nonsense, Someone is gonna get on the train, get off, get off on 
the station that, that it says it's pick up or drop off only. You know? It's not that it's not that easy, it's not that hard. You know? You just gotta make sure it's stopping online on Google Maps and that. Even though I prefer checking national rail inquiries. And yeah. Anyway, we've got a separate part in. This is for Lin Nor from Norwich to Liverpool Street. Um, it's running a little bit late as well. So it's um, 40, well, it says on there, it says it looks like it says 45 and it's kind of currently 11.47. Got a London Overground approaching there. And a bus, but we're not here for buses. There it goes. Probably the only busy train you really get on Greater Anglia, for a 12 car at least. I, w I do want to ride a 90 again though. Well, I mean, I mean, I'd love to ride a 90 on here, but I've never got the opportunity. So I've just looked up and it turns out there is a... What's it again? Uh, 66 coming again. As some of you may have seen the uh, freight compilation I've made just a few months ago. Well, I've decided I'm making another one. Because it probably is the best. Probably the best series I've ever made, probably. Apart from trains and tones, but we're not here for tones today. We will get some tones in the video. I mean, we've already got a few tones today. Um, Obviously, we got a tone out of the 350 earlier at Harrow and Wheels I don't know why it wasn't stopping. Like, it's a bit weird, but this is the best part about doing it on a weekday. Got a central line over there. Definitely unrefurbished because I could hear the old motors. Oh, the old motors. Funny enough, actually. I'll tell a little story. There was actually a, um, what is it called again? A uh, 730 that showed up at Aaron Wilson earlier, but I didn't get on it because um, I wanted to wait for the freight. <laughs> I know. Don't normally do that, but. Just didn't want to. And I did make a stupid mistake out of it because um, it costed me a fortune. Oh, it's on the other side, and it's a fried one. Let me go get a photo of that, literally. Got a 90 on the approach. And we've got a 710 as well, for some reason. Looks like we're getting brighter bombed by a 720. Oh, I don't think it's stopping. We should be all right. Oh, it's only a five, so, so we're fine. <laughs> Not a problem. It's only a five car. a lot of freight today. That's because I'm going all over the network.
And yes, we're off to get the Romford to Upminster again. But this time taking the Elizabeth. Because the next one is in half an hour with Greater Anglia and I'm not waiting half an hour. Honestly, London really annoys me, literally. Like, in total today, I've had about two beggars on a train. I've had one on a, um, a Metropolitan this morning, and, and I've not too long ago just had one on the Overground. And yes, it was a 378 before you ask. Um, but yeah. I've, but. I've had enough of these beggars all the time, literally. They really annoy me. They really do. Every time I go out, this happens.
actual earth is going on there with this Baker Lou line with this 1972 stock because I've literally just come on the platform there yeah, to get my train back to Houston well to get to Houston and I've just seen this the Baker Lou line literally has his doors open oh my life <laughs> When does this city stop getting weird? Seriously? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go further up and see if the other side's open. Yeah, look, the other side's open as well. And I think that's the one I just come off of as well, because I got this one. So I got on this Bakerloo line from, where was it again? Oh, Wilson Junction. But yeah, it's got both of its bloody doors open. Now we close it then. What on earth? Tell me what is up with London Underground today.